Hi everyone, this is Alan from Digital Drafting Systems and thank you for being here for the next video in our module tour series for the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about the model coordination section and so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right over. So using our module selector up here we're going to go ahead and choose model coordination and when you first land in here you're going to land typically in the settings area where you'll have to create a coordination space. Now, what exactly does that mean? So when you create a coordination space, you're essentially assigning a folder and then any uh, Revit files in that folder will be clashed automatically or will be compared automatically for clashes. So you'll set a, space, a name up here. You'll set whether you want automatic clashes. Typically, the, you, you'd want that turned on. Um, and then there's different ways to choose which folders. I've seen people do the whole folder structure. That sometimes can be a little overkill, a little confusing, especially with you know, the shared method and the consume method where, where models are repeated. That may not be something you want to do. Uh, what I like to do and what I've seen many people do is use the shared folder instead because you're only going to have one copy of each model in there. But again, keep in mind that's only going to work if you're using at minimum that shared linking methodology. And another option you can do is just add a whole new folder where you can copy those files into that you'd like to clash. So I've already gone ahead and done this. We have this project files uh, shared folder one, and I just call it shared folder here as the coordination space name. And so what I want to do is let's work our way kind of back up here towards the top. So members, we know what that is, reports, correspondence, meetings. We're familiar with all of those. We've seen them all before. Issues, again, we've seen. We know that that is to do with the issues themselves, which you can actually place in the, uh, the clash view that we're going to look at in a little bit here. So my suggested workflow here is to go to models. And so you're going to see the models that are in that space, right? And so what you want to do is you want to choose the models and you want to say open in viewer. So from here, if we find a view that we like, right, let's say we this is the view that we want to start from. What we can do is we can go ahead and click down here where it says save view. Um, before we save, just in case, there is this transform button that can be used if you need to move either of the two models. Um, so for example, if, you know, in this case, the structural was wrong. And so you can see here, there's a little transform icon. I've moved that already to, to be in this location. But basically, you can use a point-to-point -point or a rotate command to move that and align it with the other model. So I've already done that. That's why you're seeing this icon right here. But once that's all looking the way you want it to, you can go ahead and save the view. So we'll call this um, Save Coordination View. And you can choose here whether you want that to be public or private. So visible only to you and administrators or visible to all members. We can just make it public. And we'll go ahead and save the view. So once we've done that, I'm going to jump back out here. We can go into our views list. And so you'll see that view now listed here. So let's go ahead and open. And so, again, this is going to have everything that we're going to be clashing here. On the left side here, you have the model browser where you can basically uh, look and filter for, for a variety of different things. In this case, we're keeping it pretty simple, so we're not going to use much of this. But if we go here to clashes, that's what I really want to focus on here today. So you'll see two things here. So green model is our is our uh, where is our primary here? Yeah. So our primary model here is going to be our architectural model, and so that's going to be what shows up in red. And then green is going to be the structural model. So, and you can kind of see that here, right? The, the green is, is the structure, red is the architecture. So you can choose those right here. And so something I'd like to point out here, this is basically our list of all of our clashes. Obviously, this is a large number. A lot of these are things that you're going to be expecting to overlap or clash somewhat. But this is where you would find all of those items. And so if you find one that you'd like to take a look at, typically it'll tell you what the item is clashing with. And so if you choose this, it'll show you, you know, what the item is and what's clashing with it, essentially. So we have this, uh, this area right here, and we have a couple of these green items that clash with it. So 
it's nice. You can go down your list and it'll actually highlight each of those. You can open these drop downs and enable and disable a variety of different things to see, you know, what it is that we're seeing there. So let's choose a little bit more simple one. So here, if we wanted to turn on or turn off certain pieces of this that we're seeing highlighted, we can do that. Now, another interesting thing we can do, if you wanted to have some tolerance, right now we're at, at no tolerance pretty much, is zero inches. Uh, if we wanted to go up to, let's say, two inches here in terms of um, tolerance, you see the number of clashes dropped quite a bit. And so again, if we wanted to go up to five, not that you would typically, but you're down to 122. And so the last thing here that I'll point out, if we go to objects, you can actually um, uh, group by a variety of different topics, basically. But typically, objects is, is the cleanest way to see it in, in my limited experience, let's say, with this tool. Now, last thing I do want to point out, we do have an issues tab here. And so if we do find something that's actually problematic, let's say we need to call attention to something here, you can go ahead and create an issue. Right here, you can say, uh, right, so we created this. It's going ahead and creating the issue here. You can see on the bottom left side. And so once that issue is created, it's going to go ahead and generate a thumbnail. And we can go ahead and type is already set to coordination. And so we can go ahead and name this if needed. Uh, we can say clash to review here. And like before, we can assign that to a person, to a, a group, to a person, anything it might need to be. But a uh, very nice tool to have for the purpose of giving tasks for review, essentially. All right. So now if we go ahead and jump back out of here, if we go to clashes here, I do just want to show this real quick as well. So this is going to show you um, your clashes as well. So you have your models listed here and you have them here and it kind of cross references them, right? So going uh, up to down here, basically. Uh, so this is going to be with the structural as the, I'm sorry, as the architectural as the primary, clashing with the structural, and then this one is backwards. So this is going to be the uh, structural clashing with the architectural. So you see there's different numbers. That's because depending which, uh, you know, what you're looking for, different items are going to clash different amounts of things um, and that's primarily because you know let's say the art the architecture has um, certain elements a large number of elements let's say that clash with one structural element but on the structural side you're going to have one structural element that's clashing with multiple architectural elements so just the way that that kind of plays out is going to be what's going to show up right here and why we're going to see a difference in number there so that should be it. Uh, just a quick little overview of this section and what it can do. If you have any questions, concerns, anything of that nature, just let us know. Thank you all for being here today. Please go ahead and check out our other video series and our other uh, videos on our YouTube channel. We've got lots of tips and tricks and good stuff up there. That should be quite helpful. And we do plan on putting out a tips and tricks or uh, tips and typical questions, let's say, series on the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So definitely look for that very shortly as well. Okay, thank you all so much. Bye-bye.